Hi guys, back for floss tube number nine. Um, I just want to get um, this out of the way and say a huge thank you to everyone who has been watching and subscribing. I just checked before I done this and I was up to 408 um, subscribers. So I can't wait. And every time I get a new video out, it seems to be like a little, um, I have a little surge of, of new um, people that subscribe. So I love it. Thank you. Um, I love talking about cross stitch and my whips and, and myself really um but it's it's nice to you know it, it's nice to talk about a hobby to people that that get you because like I've, I've, I've mentioned i'm sure i've mentioned it before no one else none of my friends do cross stitch or anything like that so it's nice to talk to people that that get it that get the obsession um really enjoying um cross stitch friends in the UK I think it is and Stitch Mania at the moment um, they're both Facebook groups I recommend them for anyone if you've not joined them yet um, you know I'd really like to try and make um, you know make friends and and you know cross stitch friends and kind of maybe meet up with people or something like that um, so you know and this is really good and it's really good fun um, I've been looking for maybe like a like a group or something like that like a, what one that can meet up regularly in, in my local area but I've not been um, successful but maybe I should start one maybe yeah maybe I should um, right so my whips so when you I last saw you I think I'd just finished um, the bride and groom and had started the or restarted uh, my killer route project um, I haven't got that with me at the minute. We've recently got a new sofa um, and it, everything got thrown upstairs because the carpet was getting laid at the same time. So we had new carpet Monday, new sofa Tuesday um, and everything is kind of still everywhere. That's the worst thing isn't it? When you've got to clear out the room you've got to bring it all back down. Um, but I love it, it's so comfy, I'll show you, I will, I will show you, I don't know whether, Ooh. oh, oh, that's, that's an epic flower right there, um, so yeah, that's, there you go, you can sort of see half of it, and my amazing V-dub, V-cushion, uh, that I love, uh, there we go, um, so yeah, so yeah, you've got to bring it all back down again, haven't you, that's the only problem, um, so, I worked on that whilst I was on my holiday. I went to Mexico beginning of January. And you can see my nice, you know, tan. I've uh, got some lovely tan lines. <laughs> um, burnt on like day three. Um, burnt my legs. Um, not as bad as my partner though, not as bad as Michael. Um, he really did burn. And on his foot, he actually started blistering. I think he actually, um, don't know what went on there, but it, it, it weren't pretty, let me tell you that. Um, and he's still suffering a little bit now. Um, so we went for two weeks, loved it. If anyone is looking for a relaxing beach holiday, I could not recommend Mexico enough. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous weather. I mean, we had like two days of rain, but it was still like 20 something degrees you know you're still able to walk around in a dress or something so but it was lovely um we went to like a Mayan temple um we went um to a club called Coco Bongo um which is amazing YouTube the videos and we got to do this we got to swim with dolphins and I love it and I always thought I wouldn't be bothered about swimming with dolphins because I don't really like, um, you don't really need to keep looking at that. But I love it. I pretty much had like this smile. I had that for like the whole day. And we uh, we got picked up at like half seven. I was like, pretty much from half seven till when we went in at like just gone 11. And then we got to go in again a bit late in the afternoon and go snorkeling with them, which was amazing. Um, because I'm, I, 
I really don't like the idea of kind of like Sea World and, and animals that intelligent being kept in enclosures that small and and stuff like that. Um, but actually, these ones were all rescues, and um, you know they couldn't be in um, released again. Although their enclosures were a little bit too small for what I would prefer, but um, I loved it. Again, recommend it to anyone. And I don't know. Has anyone ever seen those pictures or those paintings where it's like a man on the sidewalk and they have the spray cans and they're just like a bunch of wiggly lines and then it turns into this like it is literally just <coughs> he's just sprayed loads of lines different colors and then got um paper like newspaper and just like did some sort of arm action and it makes all this and it's like oh my god and um i wish i filmed it but i took pictures of every stage and um it's amazing oh, i love it i have no idea where i'm gonna put it i just had this weird obsession with um sea turtles whilst i was out there i don't know i went to london aquarium a few weeks or well, a few months back actually um and we got to see sea turtle and i absolutely loved it and I don't know why, I've just become a little bit obsessed with them. Um, but they're very pretty. Um, and I did actually manage to do a lot of um, my cross stitch out there, the Kilowatt one. And I just left it in my um, a little 10 inch hoop. Either an 8 or 10 inch. 8 inch seems quite small. Maybe a 10 inch hoop. Um, and I actually quite enjoyed working on a smaller hoop in hand then on my floor stand um, which is something I'll look at and talk about later so when I came back I thought well I've done two weeks of that um, or three weeks because over like New Year and that um, I'll go back to my nephews so I've only actually managed to get one day of stitching in so this is here yeah, but on that one day I was I must have been in a really like just let's do this kind of mood you know just do it and um <laughs> i managed to stitch all of the blue i think all the blue i might have had a little bit up here done i think um the little i think it's a dog it looks a bit evil there doesn't it looks like it's got horns and eyes and uh, and then this part of like i think it's a caravan um and a little bit here because i get bored of doing one color for like too long so i find that um i just tend to I do, I'll, I'll use like, like one lot of thread and stitch it and then move on to something, something else just to break it up a bit. But I did notice that um, I think her floss tube name is Student Stitcher. I think she's called Eden, um, which is a really pretty name as well. I love that name. Um, and she's doing the same one. And she has stitched it up so unbelievably quick that I just think... I really I am that slow like I'm just at a snail's pace unbelievable like how slow this is going but you know since this week since I was able to stitch on that on my last day off which was sometime last week I've not done any stitching since because like I don't get tired I've explained my shift patterns before anyway but because of work um, you just don't get to do it and Tuesday I had Tuesday off but um, I you know I ended up having to take uh, my dad to the hospital then we uh, went to Ikea and then we did some shopping and then you come home and you prepare dinner um, and and then you know you're watching something on telly and you go to bed and then you got work so um, yeah it's a bit like that at the minute but no 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 sorry my cat it's just about to walk on my picture um so yes yeah, so i've not done too much um and then when i started the year i had this whole kind of like rotation plan um but that's just clearly not gonna work i think um i would love to say oh you know i'd spend a week on this and a week on that one and then a week on that one but because of my shifts and my mood you know what mood i'm in I just can't be that structured. It just doesn't work for me. Um, 
So I think I'll just have a few whips on the go and I'll just do whatever takes my fancy and just kind of chill out with it and not be so like regimental, you know, because like I bought a diary as well and I wanted to keep track of, you know, how often I worked on it and times and stuff like that. But again, it'll be really hard for me to work out how long I actually spend on a piece because I spend so much time watching the telly whilst I'm stitching. Probably more watching telly than stitching. That actually I could say, well, I've sat there down for two hours, but I've actually probably only done like, I don't know, an hour worth of stitching, if that. So I don't think that would really work for me either. Um, so, yeah, so that's my only, my two whips at the moment. Um, I don't know if you remember me saying. I was hoping to do the Lord of the Rings Cloud Factory um, whilst I was away. That was what I wanted to take with me originally because it was nice and small and I could just like do the individual people. Um, however, whilst I placed a fabric order with a, I won't say what company it is because it's the issue's been resolved now, but I ordered the wipe Ada um, and they only have the option of white and cream. But I don't know if you can tell. This is the fabric that I got delivered. And this is just another piece of white fabric that I had. Now, it's not really shut. I mean, you can see the difference there. This is very much a lilac. Like, they didn't even have that option on the website. So... I mean, when I say the issue has been resolved, I mean, I emailed him. I got no replies. Um, the person has since apologised um, over Facebook and explained why and stuff like that. Um, but, I mean, as it turns out, it wasn't actually that bad because I've kind of got, which I've just tipped all over the floor, um, one of these little kind of excuse me a moment, kind of A4 pocket wallet things and I forgot um, that I had this fabric. Um, now I've started, wow, what, <laughs> 10 stitches on something and given up? Um, although it's not, it's nowhere near big enough but I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of like, a, like an oatmeal flax kind of and it's got like a, a fleck going through it. Um, there you go. I think you can kind of see that. Um, I was actually thinking that maybe the Lord of the Rings would look better on this fabric um, rather than a plain white one. Just to kind of give it a bit more character. Um, I don't think you can see my cat, but she's like right in front of the screen. Luckily, it's the opposite end to uh, the, <laughs> uh, the camera. Um, so this kind of lilac -y one then, I figure I'm going to use for some other Cloud Factory ones. And I've got Beauty and the, yeah, Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid and um, Lady and the Tramp. And that kind of like lilac -y, kind of girly um, fabric colour I think will go well with that. And they're only small, so for the piece of fabric, which is, you know, a, a fair size... Not massive, but um, I may be able to get away with just doing, you know, quite cutting it into quarters um, and, and using it on that. So, and get four four designs out of it. Um, so, yeah. So, although it was the wrong fabric, in the end, it kind of made me realise that actually maybe that other fabric might be better and the lilac-y one I can use for my other ones. Um, but it did mean I ordered, at the same time I've ordered that fabric, I ordered the threads to go with Lord of the Rings. Um, and I've obviously not got the fabric now to make it. Um, and I also haven't got the, the threads to be able to start one of my other Cloud Factory ones. So um, I have to... No, thank you. That's my cup. Um, have to go through it all. Um, so, yeah go through my threads sorry cats distracted me mm. so 
also, whilst I um, was away, it was my birthday, and on my birthday, um, Michael proposed. Yay! So, you can see it. Um, so, yeah, again, ignore the nail bar. I've actually that every, nearly every video. Oh, ignore the nail bar. Um, so, yeah, so we are now engaged. Loving it. Let the wedding plans commence. <laughs> um, so, that was my best evil laugh. It's not my best evil laugh, but I don't want to scare people. Oh, there we go, Belle. Say hello. She's like, what? What are you talking about? Um, yeah, she's not impressed. Um, so yeah, so I'm hoping for maybe like 2018. Um, I kind of, I'm going to put this out there. I want some ideas. I would like to have some sort of stitchy decorations or something to be incorporated into it and I don't know what I do know I want an outdoor wedding and I would like we're looking at this place it's like in the woods um and you can have teepees and like fire pits and stuff like that and that is very me I'm not I'm not very formal you know having a nice hotel you know or a manor house is not really me I think it's lovely if it's your thing great but for me I just want something a little bit different I want people to think well that's weird you know that's, that's a bit different um so yeah so that's what I like that's what I want so if anyone's got any ideas like Pinterest is pretty much my best friend at the minute um, I love that. I love that website so much. It's, like, it's just amazing. Um, so yeah. So that's that's it, really, on my whips, on my engagement. I have a little bit of haul, actually. Just just popped round, put me a brand. And so I um, went into the range. Another great, not like a huge amount of cross-stitch stuff, more like card making, but it's still not bad. Got some um, erasable highlighters. Just because they're a pound, I, I think, you know, I get a bit bored, like, writing my chart and pencil, so, yeah, just because they're a pound, really, that was it. Um, got some more of the plastic wallets, I think they were a pound. Um, I'm going to try and keep everything in a plastic wallet, so that, I was watching um, Teresa's video, and she had, like, a lot of whips going on, and I was like, yeah, that's what I want. I want a lot of whips. I'm gonna start some stuff. I want to be a little bit more organised, get getting kitting it up, and get some more things on the go so I can get some more finishes already. Because it's it's I'm like February and I've not had a finish. It's disgusting. Um, and I bought this hobby box because I, I don't know if my last video whether I bought the heaven and earth or whether I was thinking about it. But I bought the chart for together we stand for my stepdad and I've started buying the threads um, and I'm going to do like so many a week because I get paid weekly and there's like 80 odd colours um, so I bought its own little box just to do um, and some bobbins so that I can bobbinate them as I go along and then hopefully when I'm ready to start I'll get the fabric last um, I'll already have a box full of bobbinated threads ready to go. Um, it's not really, it's not like a proper storage thread one because these are like too wide really. But it's the only one they had that was, I could get the depth for the bobbins and it, it was like £4 and like money is really tight at the minute so um, this was like the best option. And it's not like I'm going to use it to store my bobbins after. Like this will just pretty much be like a like a project box, I suppose. Um, and that, yeah, like I said, that was like four pound bargain. So the only other thing I'm going to show you, which I hope you guys will find interesting, because you know having kind of like stitchy backgrounds and stuff like that, I show it to other people and they're like, that's nice, you know. But I actually, I love it and I think it's really interesting. So it is uh, my sewing table. 
that um, my granddad had given me, and I think it was his um, his mum originally. And I, you can't really see because of the light, but there is like a little drawer there. It's a bit stiff. Um, so I apologise for the camera. So, yeah. And so inside it already came with like lots of cool stuff as well. Like, not those pins because, like, they're mine. But um, and it's got that like, that old smell as well. I love it. I love digging through it. Some like, some old random buttons on like I don't even know how old this stuff is. Oh some bobbins. I was a thought son. Like some we I don't it like I don't, I don't know what that is. It's like some sort of ninja thing. Like, you know. But um yeah, I don't know what that is. If anyone knows what that is I kinda of got another loose thing there um lots of elastic some poppers a weeny teeny tiny dice because who knows but obviously something interesting in there no get down come on good girl good girl um so yeah so that's the drawer but the best bit is i don't i hope you can see it ready it's got a little catch underneath here Ta -da! Okay. um so this is all like really just icky. um but it's got like needles and like uh, god knows what i think these might be from like when knitting stuff together they're like massive um like yeah so when you're yeah, putting it sewing it all no get out of it thank you um no go away tell you so yeah what well, i've got a lavender scented sachet that's probably something i've put in there actually to be honest some fabric um oh some adhesive squares another bit of fabric and some ada some more ada that's a big piece of Ada. Did not know that was in there. Possibly 16 count by looking at the squares. Hmm. Um, but, oh, another bit of Ada. A bit sparkly Ada. Things you'll find. This really like little, little, little sewing kit thing. I love it. It's like these really like scissors. There is one of my other whips in here actually. Do you know what? I haven't. It's just all come out. I haven't done this for ages because um, I went wrong on it. And I've no idea where it's this. Um, it's, it's. I don't think I've worked on this when I've been with Michael, which is um, coming up to two years. So, um, and the cat is in the box, but, thank you, um, you know, I have done quite a bit on it, actually, I have done loads, <laughs> um, um, but on this bit round here, just fold it, this bit round here, I've, I went wrong somewhere round here. Do you know what? I haven't I haven't seen this for ages. I'm pulling it out. I didn't realise how much I've actually done. Um and I think I kept going, I'm sure I went wrong somewhere over I definitely went wrong somewhere around here. I mean luckily a lot of it is like half stitch um and kind of colours all over the place, a bit mixed in, so if that makes sense. So it you can it, it's not a huge problem if you've gone wrong and you don't know where if you know the back's a bit shocking actually looking at that random bit of thread hanging out there um so yeah so i'll probably i might even maybe once i've picked my brothers finished uh, owens my nephews 
I'll pick that back up. What else have we got in here? Some really, I don't know what this is. Needlework Companion. Yeah. Oh god, it's so loads of little safety pins and zebra zebra mottles mending kit. Oh, it's got some needles and some buttons and stuff in there. So yeah, so I'm bringing this down. This will be like my side table for my stitchy chair, which the iPad's currently resting on. Um. And what was that? Oh, some matches. Oh, an actual, like, book of matches. There we go. No idea where. Um, so, yeah, and just a load of these little, little threads. Loads of them. But I love it. It's, it's so nice. To ha there is other bits, but I don't know where it's gone actually. Um, and I'll just show you. Ah, oh, and a 27 piece sewing needles kit. Um, I'll show you inside. Oh, sorry, there we go. So it's all kind of lined in here as well. Um, and then that's the top. And what it is, with the, oh, sorry, with the top. Um, my nan had it in front of a window and her Labrador, Becky, um, jumped up at the window um, on top of this and then clawed it. So that's what all those scratch marks are. Um, so I'm hoping to eventually I can afford to kind of, I mean it's not, judging by that chip there, I mean this is only veneer and then it's like a chipboard. So... Um, you know, I'm hoping, I don't know whether it's something my dad can do. I'm not too sure. I need to start putting stuff back in. Um, but so it will all be nice and sanded down. But yeah, I love it. It's nice to have like a bit of a family heirloom, if you like, and it be stitchy related. Um, I love it. So that's about it, really. I'm sorry I've not actually got much cross stitch to show you. Um, and I hope you kind of found the little sewing table interesting. It's I, I, I like it. I find it interesting. And I love that kind of that old smell coming from it. Um, so hopefully next time I see you, um, I'll have a couple of more whips. I, hopefully, anyway. Um, I'm hoping to at least start the, the Lord of the Rings one. That's my favourite out of the Cloud Factory ones. Um, and possibly start one of the others that I want to do. I really like that Art Deco lady, if anyone remembers that. Um, so maybe perhaps start that. I'm just trying to think. Um, so yeah, so I think I probably will start that one. I like that one. I don't know where I'll put it, but I like it. So that's it. So I think I've been rambling on enough. Um, apologies if you've got bored. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, thank you everyone for subscribing. Um, and just a general thank you to everyone. Okay. Thank you. Bye.